Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy RPX Blood Red coming at you live from the power of my studio room. Today I'm going to be talking about my first impressions of the new Call of Duty game, Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare was developed by Infinity Ward. It's also the fourth futuristic game in the series, and the game that is also currently coming out this year. Before I get into any more details, I would like to remind you all that this is the beta. It is also the final product, meaning that at least 75% of all these problems might still surface with its full release that's coming up in the next week and a half or so. Oh my god, you're so wrong. This is just a beta. Shut up already. They will fix these issues in one day. What are you, the writer? Yes. After playing the game for a few hours, I really want to first point out that the frame rate issues are really frustrating. Yes, I've been playing on the Xbox One, but that is still irrelevant. That is still a main issue. I don't know how it is for the PlayStation 4, but I heard that it is phenomenal for a PlayStation 4. The map designs are not the greatest. The game itself is having an identity crisis, in my honest opinion, based on the beta maps only. The maps are designed for boots on the ground gameplay with the advanced movement system in play. Because of this, I feel hindered, restricted, like as if I'm strapped to a chair in the pool and being told to swim across from one end to the other. The guns are pretty bland with SMGs being dominant at the moment along with sniper rifles. You're just bad at the game, scrub. Maybe if you invested your time, soul, and your life support, grab some baby oil and then you'll be good at the game. Can you leave? Another issue to have with the game, which is more of a personal problem, is the graphics. No matter how sugar sweet coated rear end someone tells me it looks good, the game looks like a last gen game. Not only that, but the game runs last gen. The soundtrack is on the boring side and neither pumping you up or keeping you awake. Because of the music, I fell asleep numerous times. The menu is also on the simple side, which is neither good nor bad, but it could have room for improvement. The Pick 10 version is just Ghost, but with less perks and more on the Black Ops 3 side. It's garbage. Overall, based on just the beta itself in its current state, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. The game's attention span for me is about an hour at most, that's when the excitement starts to lose itself. The feel is overall bland, the look is outdated, hopefully over time they improve the gameplay and have better map designs. If you like Black Ops 3, this is aimed more towards you, but with slower movement on the advanced movement side. If you're expecting change or anything else, then I don't recommend this game for you. If you are still interested in this game, I will recommend a wait for sale at most, probably at 30 bucks or less, hopefully maybe just a rental at least also. Thank you guys for watching, like, comment, rate, and subscribe for more daily content. RPX Blood Red, signing off. Later. The game is just not that bad. The only problem is that it's just neutral. It's not that bad. I'm not saying it's the worst game ever. No.